All right, guys, we're gonna take a look at the Zotoman curls. These are great exercises to put the biceps at a disadvantage, which in turn is gonna challenge the brachioradialis, the forearm muscles. And what we're doing here is a pretty straightforward exercise. Um, essentially, what we're doing is we're starting in a semi supinated grip. Again, remember the arc. Remember the concept of the arc. We wanna take the muscle through its greatest range of motion. So, you know, to do that, we need to make sure that bicep is still lined up with the shoulder and those elbows are facing behind you. So when we're coming down, we're still going through a great arc. When you're trying to gain muscle or lose fat and set a goal weight and deadline, how do you feel if you fail to achieve it and how do you deal with it? Hmm. All right, I'll give you guys five tips for failure. So I thought about these before the question was asked. And uh, first off, you wanna acknowledge your mistakes. So number one, acknowledge your mistakes. Where did you go wrong? Why did you fail? Just be honest with yourself. Even write them down so they become visceral, they become real. So did you not give yourself enough time? Maybe it was your expectations set too high? Did you slack? Did you miss too many workouts? Acknowledge your mistakes. Who's ready to make some nut bars? These look insane. These are insane, that's for sure. Insanely good. Insanely good. And nut bars are gonna be a really good, healthy snack because a lot of people resort to unhealthy things or fast food or things on the road, which actually ends up costing you money because that stuff is so much, you know, it's priced high. So we're gonna take control of our health, our bodies, and we're gonna take control of our snacks and uh, we're gonna learn how to make nut bars. This looks incredible. All right, we're back for interview two with Brad Pilon, great friend of mine, and he's the author of Eat, Stop, Eat. He, know, he needs no introduction. So, um, Brad, I wanna do a little more rapid fire style today, and I wanna yeah. hit a bunch of topics. Okay. So we don't have you for much longer. And I want to first off hear about your goal setting process. Right. Okay, goal setting for me has been very difficult. I, I'm not a, a goal, type person, never have been, even when I worked in research, even when I worked in the corporate world, never been a goal person. So I set big goals. 